All right, I'd like to open the uh, Tuesday, March 10th, Board of Public Works meeting. Uh, at this time, I'd like to ask if anyone besides LCAT is recording the meeting, and if so, uh, state your name. Yes, Bob Tadia for DPW. Okay. Thank you. We're going to switch around the order a little bit while we wait for Mr. O'Brien, who's on his way. So we're going to start with the uh, some of the different reports. Um, I guess we'll start with the Deputy Superintendent report. All right. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, we uh, just finalizing our uh, paving bid. Um, we should be out to bid at the end of this month, early April, and hopefully uh, getting cranking by the end of April. Uh, right now, we got about uh, one and a half million dollars worth of work planned. Um, we'll see how that comes when the bids come in. Uh, maybe we can add some more. Um, and then uh, some some landfill updates. Uh, Summers Road, um, that closure should be done within a couple weeks, and then we'll do the final report, uh, as-built survey and, and certification for the closure. Uh, we had a meeting with DEP Friday about Allen Street Landfill, which is next. Uh, we're gonna start uh, sampling. They had, they had started that process back in like 04. Uh, we, me and Daryl went out Monday, found all the wells are still in, they're still there in good condition, so uh, we'll start gas and water quality monitoring again uh, this spring. And uh, that should be about a five year plus closure, uh, depending on how good, how quick things go and if obviously the funding um, is there for that. Yeah, we put in what, $225,000 in this year's capital appropriation? Or is two, it two, just two. 200000 to, to get started? We put one fifty in last year and got seventy five. So that should get us going with, um, by the end of the year, we have to have a um, corrective action design in place, um, approved by DEP, which is basically just the plan for closure, whether we gotta phase it out or uh, grading plan, the whole bit, coverage plan. Um, so that should cover that stuff anyway. Um, sampling should be, the first round of water quality and gas should be around 15,000. Um, and then the, the, uh, the design itself will get a, a proposal for that and hopefully we should be able to and get additional funding this year too if, if it's there. We, we can't just start and stop and DEP's not gonna go for that, so. Um, other than that, um, we're finalizing our uh, Complete Streets prioritization plan, which is the second step. That's for North uh, Main. Well, that's the, no, this well, is, that's the bigger project. yeah, this is for, to get in the Complete Streets program, which will give us a, an opportunity to get like $400,000 a year for sidewalk projects, uh, intersection improvements, um, things of that nature, safety, safety concerns. Um, and that's going out in the next couple of weeks. Um, so hopefully that'll be good. And then we'll get on that list. The next step is to, to submit projects for approval. So. It'll be nice to get some additional uh, funding for some of these things that are out there that we could sure use some help. It'll help offset too some of our sidewalk funding too. Right. So it's gonna gonna help there. Yes. Anytime you get funds coming in from other sources mm -hmm. than the than the town, it's, mm -hmm. it's always yeah. helpful. Yeah. It's yeah. huge. It's huge, and especially if we want to cover more sidewalks, mm -hmm. or even even the pavement. You know, if that that comes about. Yeah. They will release. least. Unfortunately, the the complete streets doesn't. I know you got the. They don't give you the money for the paving. You got to try to get creative and do it with your chapter ninety if if that's the case. Yeah. Um, so, but you're right. We we've got a lot of work out there that needs to be done. We got a sidewalk master plan with some gaps in it, and if this can help, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. So there's forty six projects on that. I was actually reviewing it with Tom this morning, or this afternoon. So, um, the signal improvements are on there. Um, sidewalks, bike lanes, um, sidewalks, I think I already said. Yeah. <laughs> um, amongst yeah, just, things. yeah, traffic improvement, signage, things like right. that. So, um, yeah. Great. Thank you. That's Thanks. about it. Thanks. Thanks. All right, we'll uh, go to the Water and Sewer Administrator Report. 
Okay, I completed the water main at the addition of Meadowbrook School. And we're just in the testing phase now. I'll be starting the sewer running over there soon. Uh, we're getting ready to start the water tower painting project for next week or two. Great. That's the uh, cable companies or Verizon. Verizon, yeah. yeah. We're not being very cooperative. Did you get any response back right. recently? Yeah. They're running around right now. Yeah. Their heads cut off yeah. because we're starting without, with obviously, without their equipment off the tower. So um, we met their requirements for the contract, 90 day notice. We actually notified them uh, June of 2019. Um, I guess there's been some management changes. Obviously, me and me and my, uh, me and Felix have been going back with them over the summer. What are you doing? What's going on? Trying to get it, um, get it moving. Um, then we followed up again a couple weeks ago, and Felix is getting email responses back that the no return to sender because uh, they don't work there anymore. So uh, they're working fast and furious right now to uh, to get their equipment off. Um, they're going to be on site, I believe, tomorrow. Okay, they, they are responding. They yes. Give you a day and oh. schedule. Yes. About two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Equipment. It's going to be, be a lot of prep work for the, for the painting crew, though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's going to be four weeks to set up the scaffold. Right. So it's it's, it's going to be is interesting with the logistics over there with all these. All yeah, these uh, it's really working. Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> tripping over each other. So. Who's going to put up whose ladder? <laughs> right. So anyways, it, the project's moving along. How long do so. they expect that to take? The tower itself? Yeah. Early May, it should be complete. Pretty quick. It's all. It's really the the setup, the staging setup, and everything else that takes That's the time, the tending the whole thing. Yeah. So, yep. That's about it. Unless you guys have questions yeah. on that uh, sheet I gave you last. Yeah, that was two weeks ago. So Any questions? No. All right. Thanks, okay. Alex. All right. Building facilities manager report. Uh, Maple Meadowbrook School. The uh, floor was poured uh, yesterday. So the floor's got to cure for seven days. There's three or four carpenters doing some busy work just trying to get the uh, wall layout set up. They're doing the roof drains tomorrow. And again, the water's done. And uh, that's it, it's going pretty smooth so far. The roof deck is on. So, and everything up, look, it's been a mild winter, so everything's been pretty quiet as far as the maintenance goes on this side, so. About it. All right. Back to the top. Or you can go to the highway. You oh, I missed the highway. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It's all good. I'm not used to this. All right, highway utility manager report. Uh, really is not a ton, but uh, just to give you a heads up, we uh, put two crews out on uh, sides of the road to, to uh, clean up any plow damage, looming and seeding work orders. Uh, we pretty much went through the whole si whole work order system and cleared just about cleared everything out. Um, we're starting to get a little stragglers in here and there now, which we usually get every year. Um, this is a huge jump with this weather that we've had. Uh, Sparks Department, they've already started painting fields, which is a big plus for us. They've already got nets set up. Usually we're not doing this stuff till April because of the weather and stuff. Um, I got one crew, like Tom said, up at the transfer station, um, helping out up there uh, with that closure. and. Uh, what the water department right now is uh, cleaning up at the water job that they finished up and stuff like that. So we've already started taking sanders off. Um, I will have five sanders on the vehicles ready to go until April. Um, about mid-April, we will make sure everything's full go for some, for summer work. But I need five sanders to run a full crew, and when we have we can start pulling them off as the the month goes here and keep those five if we ever if we need it i don't think we will but <laughs> forecasts are pretty good yeah pretty good at least for a week but yeah. so no nope. changing just like they said it as could as I've seen, we, we've all seen snow in april so i've seen snow just, um, the first week or second week yeah. of april you know like i said we need five five sanders to run a full crew yeah for a standing crew and then um obviously all those vehicles even if they don't have sand the vehicles that had sanders they don't need them to plow we can still put the plows on those trucks and use those vehicles to do snow removal if needed, if need be. So, 
that's pretty much all I got. Are, are you doing anything as far as uh, storm drains, uh, clean up and stuff? We're going to be. Um, we're going to be doing all our street sweeping. We're going to be doing all our catch basin cleanings. Um, it's all going to get scheduled throughout this whole stormwater project and permit that we have to maintain. Are you are you pulling the schedule up a little to start earlier, given the nice weather? Well, to be honest, it's a year-round thing. I can, other than the street sweeping, I can do catch basins all year long as long as they're not frozen. Yeah. So we did. We have done some throughout the winter. Okay. What's so. actually what's going on now? We actually have our stormwater foreman actually investigating all yeah. our streets that we're going to be paving this year, yeah. checking structures and everything else so we can get those repaired um, and cleaned before the street um, is repaved. So he's got a, a long list of, of things long. to do in drainage, uh, uh, cameraing, yeah. and things like that that he's doing currently before um, he can start his dry weather screening. So you really can't screen or do any sampling. Um, I believe it's uh, 24 to 48 hours. You can't have any rain. Um, ten, you, less than a tenth of an inch. Less than a tenth of an inch hours. of rain uh, within 24 hours. So, um, so we're waiting for that. All set. Yeah. Yep. Good. Good. All right. Thank you. All right, Bruce, superintendent report. Okay. Um, I only have a couple items for you guys this evening. I have a, uh, that staff um, that I mentioned last week for the skilled labor position, uh, Joseph Mignani, um, as has passed his pre-employment physical. Um, he'll be starting on March 16th. Like he said, he comes with uh, much experience from uh, uh, a surrounding community, DPW, in the Parks Division. So that's where we're going to put him uh, starting off to, uh, to help with that transition. Um, so uh, from last week's or the couple weeks ago meeting, uh, stormwater follow-up, um, I know a question was posed about our GIS system as far as calculating impervious surface. Um, annually, it does not do that. Um, typically, they do an update on that system for, for flyovers and stuff probably every 10 to 15 years. So I just wanted to uh, answer that question that was posed at the last meeting. Um, and also, uh, transfer station disposal contract. The health department is still working on that uh, process, receiving bid uh, for those services. I'll keep the board posted um, on the rates uh, for budgetary purposes moving forward. Um, we did have a question regarding markouts um, at our last meeting too for National Grid and Columbia Gas. We are currently charging them for those um, for those markouts. Okay, so I know Tom was asking. And I thought we weren't charging um, charging them, but we are charging them for all those markouts. I think the question though is how much versus it, we, I think we knew we were marking them, but I think Tom's question was how much were, were we charging? It's the, the fee that's in our schedule. Is it a hundred? Fifty. Fifty dollars. Yeah. Because the fee bucks a house. We should raise that. Right. Well, that's something you guys should discuss during our rates and fees portion if you if you guys like to. Okay. Uh, so we are getting that revenue and the last um, item I have for you guys this evening uh, under capital improvement we finally received our 2019 F350 utility body for the stormwater foreman um, we received that on 228 so um, he's out fitting his truck getting it all ready and uh, getting his tools and sample kits and everything ready um, for this upcoming uh, this upcoming season okay um, Another question um, that was posed at our last meeting, and I know it was Mr. O'Brien, um, I did some brief calculations just to figure out if everybody was to pay the same fees for stormwater. Um, so I calculated uh, based on our budget. So um, we have 1,000, 1,050 acres of impervious surface town-wide. Um, and we, if you divide that by 6,871 6, billable accounts for stormwater, that equates to $45.84. So if we want to just do a flat rate, obviously we would need to do redo, redo the bylaw, uh, the fee schedule and everything else, but just um, as a barometer for the, uh, for the board, it would be $45.84 for everybody. Across the board, no. so no. it's just it's just some informational stuff. Yep. If yep. you know you have that, um, if you need it, okay. Um, Any questions? 
No. We want to take a five minute break. Uh, yeah, we'll take a up, Then we'll do the, uh, we'll review the minutes with Tom Wise here. So we can approve those together and then we'll go into the uh, proposed rates increase for fiscal year 21. So we'll take a few minute break before Tom shows up. Very good. All right, so we'll, uh, Tom's here now, so we'll get back into it. Um, so now we'll uh, t look at reviewing and approving the minutes of the meeting from February 25th, 2020. You guys get a chance to take a look at them? Yeah, just to yeah. Take, a look. take a motion to approve the minutes from February 25th, 2020. So moved. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so approved. All right, now we'll move into uh, reviewing the proposed fiscal year 21 rates and fees. Okay, um, I made some minor changes. Um, we'll start going through uh, page by page. Um, we'll start on obviously page one. Um, I did some minor minor changes um, to the bottom of that document just to get a kind of a clarification on um, how many uh, cubic feet are in gallons and uh, gallons are in cubic feet just so you can reference the table more accurately because I know there was a, a little bit of discussion on that so I put that together for you. Um, any questions? Nope. No. 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 Okay. Um, page two, I did uh, reformat this too uh, for better clarity uh, regarding our water rate examples for uh, uh, water and sewer and the rate difference for average yearly consumption. Um, so I have on your sheet um, under water a five cent increase, a 10 cent increase, a 20 cent increase under the water side. Um, under the sewer side, I have a 10 cent increase, a 15 cent increase, and a 20 cent increase. So based on my recommendations under water, um, the annual um, average yearly consumption at 100, uh, 108 cubic feet is going to be a rough difference of $10.08 for the average homeowner. And then the um, average uh, consumption for somebody that uses slightly more at 120 cubic feet is going to be $12 per year. Um, and then on the sewer side, under my 20 cents recommended um, for approval, for our sewer rates, um, average yearly um, discharge, I guess you could say, for sewage is 90 cubic feet. Um, and um, that rate is 3.70 with an average yearly increase of $18. And then for the higher um, yearly uh, uh, discharge of 100 cubic feet would be um, $20 um, on your average yearly bill. Any questions? Good. All right, number three, no changes. This is just an example uh, based on our last meeting. Um, this is our water and sewer division combined, and it just basically gives you uh, um, a cost estimate over uh, since 2007 to 2019 and what those expenditures were. Okay, um, on page number four, I did slightly modify this uh, based on uh, discussions at our last meeting. Um, this is our water division. Um, going through it, um, we've added, We actually one of the tables is obviously our yearly, um, our yearly totals for expenditure, expenditures from 2007 to 2019. Um, I also added in there the red line that you see there. That's our population curve. So it seems to be pretty steady, but it's uh, kind of on the decline as of right now. Um, it was just something that uh, the board wanted to see in conjunction with uh, what we're paying for our uh, water yep. consumption. The only thing we have to watch, uh, Tom, though, is, is the number of gallons being used. You know, it seems to be decreasing in the last two years. If it if it doesn't bottom out, it has an impact on the revenue that we when we set the rates. If we see decreasing usage of, of volume of water, the revenue that we project could be a little bit of a variance in it if it continues going down versus what we expected when we do the setting of the rates. So. That would have an impact on, on the reserve balance yeah. possibility. We have to see it another third year. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, if you did a trend line through this, though, I bet you it's pretty flat. I mean, he's looking at the usage over the last two years, well, three years, 12 years. Right. Oh, yeah. But you look all the way back to the beginning. That, that, it's been pretty consistent for usage to, for the most part. It's all, but if you go from 217 to 219, you're almost, you're almost down 85,000 yeah. gallons. Right. It'd be more, which, which, more have to look at the trend line to see what, uh, see, see where we're going to trend. Well, that's what I'm saying. Look, data. Looking at a third year, possibly next yeah. year, and see if that trend downward. Given population, what, what we see with population, they have a, yeah. when we do the estimate of, of uh, gallons used, you know, when we do the revenues. Because I'm actually working on our annual statistical report, um, and it actually that um, that number is actually going down. So as of right now, and I'm not finished with it, the uh, average yearly consumption of a, uh, a household has actually gone down to almost 75 gallons. But it's not complete in the last yet. two years. You no, know, that that's just in 2019. That's why I say. So that. that's something I'm going to need to look at for next year and calculate yeah, those. Revenues, calculation um, of revenues. I got to calculate obviously the projected revenue and make sure that equation is right. going to reflect the new the new numbers moving forward for next year. Yeah, it's kind of it's it's kind of surprising, especially with all the development and, and everything else in town. It, it's I was expecting a, actually an increase in water uses, especially with those um, those new medical facilities down there. Um, we have three eight-inch services going into those, and we didn't see an increase in water usage. Uh, so I was, I was pretty surprised. But it's been also wet. It's right. been wet last yeah. couple. So there's a direct correlation for a lot yeah. of different things. So. Anyways, we'll yeah, I mean, that's 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 next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think it depends a lot depends on the weather. Yeah. The okay. Um, sheet number five um, is our water uh, projection for a ten cent increase. <coughs> um, so, with a ten cent increase, we're project, uh, projecting an anticipated revenue of three billion two hundred and seven thousand six hundred dollars. Um, and between the beginning balance, the FY21 operational budget, transfer from undesignated FY20 funds, and our long-term debt and interest gives us a balance of $469,152.89. Okay. Um, on sheet six, um, I did do some modification based on our last meeting. Um, this is our operational budget. Um, so I made those modifications. I don't know, Phil, if you have any questions, comments, and or concerns. No, you, you, you put them the way okay. we talked about them. Okay. So that's a 10, 10 cent increase with a projected ending balance on that is 397472 with all these, these, other, um, these other items um, taken out of that, that fund. Okay, ready for page number seven? Page number seven is our water, um, water budget increase of 20 cents. So we have anticipated revenue for FY21 of $3,296,700 at $3.70 per 100 cubic feet. Um, with a anticipated ending balance um, none of the other numbers changed up there except for the projected revenue anticipated ending balance of five hundred fifty eight thousand two hundred fifty two dollars and eighty nine cents for that twenty cent increase okay any questions um, sheet number eight is obviously the operational expenses obviously and based on that twenty cent increase um, so with everything taken out with our operational budget, um, we have a projected ending balance. And like you said, this is all projections, okay? So we have a projected ending balance of $486,572.01. Okay? That's good. All right. Page number nine is just a uh, chart I put together from you, uh, for you guys last time. No changes. 
Um, this is a uh, projection or a uh, just a graph showing uh, the cost of our sewer um, sewer that we discharge into Springfield from 2007 to 2019. Um, obviously, um, we talked about that also at the last meeting. Uh, we went from in 2017. Um, we went from 5 million gallons a month to 12 million gallons a month, and uh, uh, you can see the reflection um, in the graph. Okay. On page 10, we have our sewer um, 15 cent increase projection. Um, the rate is currently $3.50 per 100 cubic feet. Uh, with that 15 cent increase, we'd be at $3.65 uh, $3 with an anticipated revenue of $2,306,800. Um, we plug that into our beginning balance, which is $280,522.55. We have our anticipated revenue at the $2,306,800. Um, we minus our operational expenses for that year is uh, $1,498,000. 76.15 transfer from undesignated FY20 that 150,000 um, and then our long-term debt and interest um, for FY21 with my projections $542,594.49 with an anticipated ending balance for FY21 of 395,951 dollars On uh, page 11, we have those projections uh, plugged into our operational budget for a 15 cent increase. Um, we're looking based on all the other related information for our operational budget. Um, an anticipated ending balance for our operational expenses at 332,529.37. <laughs> That's so small. Uh, yeah, I know, it's way too small. Uh, any questions? Okay. We're almost through the sewer side. So I have a projection here also. This is what I'm recommending um, to the board this evening for a 20 cent increase. Um, so we go from $3.50 per 100 cubic feet um, to $3.70. Uh, with an anticipated revenue for FY21 of $2,338,400. Uh, we plug that into our um, expenses and long-term debt and interest uh, for next year with a beginning balance of $278,807.60. Anticipated revenue to $2,338,400. Operational expenses, $1,498,776.15. Our transfer around designated of 150. Our long-term debt and interest, 542,594.49, with anticipated ending balance for FY21 of 425, 836.97. Okay. Our next sheet um, is obviously plugging those that number into our um, our operational expenses, um, and so. Once I do that with our projections, we have anticipated ending balance in our operational expenses um, at $364,129.37. So generally your target's like three to 500,000 and then you, you end up with like between 150 and 300 generally? Uh, yes, and that's, yes, yes. Um, and like I said, I believe I've told you all this before. I'd love to love to get our our, our bank up to um, at least over five hundred thousand dollars. I'd love to see a million dollars in in there for any catastrophic failures because um, our pump station and treatment facilities aren't cheap. It's just it's trying to get there. It's just trying to get there. It's been difficult over the last few years. Um, well, we started to in a. A really bad place on our water side when we, you guys first started. I believe we only had twenty-four thousand dollars in our, our, our water enterprise fund, or was that our sewer? Our sewer side. So we've been paying, playing catch up uh, for the past few years. So we're getting there. We have a little bit of reserve left. Um, so therefore, like you said, I'm trying to be mindful too of the taxpayers and everything else. And uh, I know some communities are 
they're charging 50, 60 cents, some of them, um, moving forward. Um, but anyways, um, so that's up for discussion for you guys. Okay. It's probably reasonable as the as recommended amounts that we just put in. Um, we, again, we we have to wait till we see actuals. Right. Right. They're really not available even even for this current year. Right. We don't know really when a fund balance is going to come out. Right. And, That's the and thing with municipal financing too. You're always a year behind. So. So it, it's kind of, kind of difficult, and, and if if the volume falls off on the water consumption, we'll have a little less revenue. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so we, we have to look at another reason of, of being reasonable on that reserve overall. Otherwise, we're not gonna make any real headway. It's, it's gonna be short, 50 to $100,000 from these numbers, easily. But there's a little bit of offsets with other revenue other than the rate itself that's in here but but that's they're all within reason uh, i would i would recommend supporting the, the recommendation that the bruce is giving us at this point okay, and, and, and keep a close eye on it as we go forward uh, but one of the things that's going to be affecting it to some degree is what our capital plan numbers get approved and we can see how those have come out for the appreciation. But I would say this would be the time to get as much capital plan in because this would be the time to borrow money that the town needs to. The rates are all 1% uh, for borrowing. It, 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 you couldn't ask for a better time to borrow for any real capital needs as far as a town or any government enterprise. And I did, I did make that recommendation on all the capital submissions um, in our explanation sheet. I'm recommending bonding everything um, on this year, just to just to keep our reserves up. Yeah. The rates are low. And the rates are low, like like yeah. the IRA than using cash on the revenues of the town. Right. It go borrow the money at that one percent. Right. So you want me to keep going through this, and you guys can discuss it at the end and make a motion um, accordingly, or. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We can call them to know what the water in. Yeah, we're going to just go ahead and give us the rest of the visa. You want to, you guys, you want to just go over the changes? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, he made a change on the sheet, uh, Tom, that, that you were asking about the, the split for the stormwater enterprise. Yeah. Uh, so you can see it. So I did do um, a little bit of homework when it comes to the stormwater enterprise fund. I know, Bill, you had some questions about the percentages. So you can see in this col uh, column here, based on the upper land use codes, um, for these are mainly residential uh, <coughs> properties. So that equates to 50.37% of the entire budget. Um, commercial and industrial properties uh, equate to 42.4% of the entire budget. Uh, mixed use uh, commercial uh, residential predominantly commercial is 0.58 percent um, commercial condos um, is 0.92 percent um, farms is only 0.08 percent um, exempt parcel residential is 0.69 percent um, exempt parcels residential vacant land is 0.70 percent exempt parcels that are commercial 2.65%. Uh, we have golf courses that are 0.32%. Uh, mixed residential, 0.18. Uh, towers, that's our uh, cell towers and things like that. That equates to about 0.10%. And then our vacant industrial properties equates to about 1.16%. Oh, when I did do those calculations, Tom, and I, I, I said it in the email, just like I said, I know that was... Is that up to 100%? It should be. It should be close. should be close, yeah. It's about 50, 42, 50, right? 143, 43 and a half, 44, 45, yeah, it's 100, close. But I don't have my calculator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I'll check it. If there's any modifications, I'll I'll, I'll check that tomorrow. Okay. So it's almost sure. like a fifty-fifty between the residential, the residential, residential and, and everything else. Yeah. Let us know before the end of the meeting. Yeah. Bob, Bob, Bob will be happy to throw me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so any questions uh, no, thank related you. to the storm water? Was in there. It's like yep. a good breakdown. Okay, good. Um, the next sheet, uh, page 16, uh, no changes on that. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and then all our services. I don't know if you guys have any questions on that. Um, nothing's changed on that. Um, and Tom, as far as I know, you weren't here for it, but we did have discussions. So National Grid and Columbia Gas, we are charging them dig save or mark out fees. Um, so I was uh, mistaken when I spoke at the, our last meeting. So That's the average source. <laughs> That's 99.8%. Okay. <laughs> is it? I added it up, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Is okay. it? 99.8. It's not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Sharpen your pencil. Yeah. Anyway, so um, 17, <laughs> there's no change in the water services, sanitary sewer services. Oh, but one quick question yep. going back to the markups. You brought up a question last time uh, um, about the rate that the towns are charging Eversource. Yeah, it varies. It, it varies all over the place. Were you going to check that to see what, what uh, like Longmeadow or Wolverham or Hamden or what they're charging? What they're, they're charging. I can yeah, I can get that information absolutely. Versus what we're okay we're, because we're charging at fifty dollars. It's our. It depends on who it is. So our, our rate is a hundred dollars. Right. But per our agreement, we can only charge them fifty dollars. That accurate? So, but that contract is up when? Well, they're not. <laughs> they're not going to be in business much longer at Columbia Gas. Yeah, so. Well, oh, Eversource. Oh, Eversource. Yeah. Are they paying fifty dollars under that? So agreement? I don't know if the agreement is in perpetuity. Does it keep rolling if somebody bought them? I don't know. I wouldn't think any agreement could. Um, it's got a sunset. At some point. Right. That's what it might be. Yeah, I've no. never seen an open agreement forever. Right. But it would it, it, be rates in it, except that they would have a separate agenda, uh, addendum with, with prices on it. And then you could negotiate the event, addendum to right. it. Uh, but see, if you could see what it is and see yep. what the other towns are charging. Yep. Because that, I think that's what you had for concern, wasn't it, Tom? Is it how much? Yeah, they, they vary. That they, they vary? I just did long ago the other day, and they did a. They charged me seventy five on a general markout, and then like an extra fifty bucks for a trench. Trench permit. Yeah, so they some were like one hundred and twenty. Really. Some were seventy five. They have a pavement life cycle maintenance. I don't think they have that. Do they have a road, side. Do they have a right away permit or something? I'd have to look or at just the permitting because they have. They have different fees for different markouts. We 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 do have a trench uh, fee for fifty dollars trench permit, fifty bucks. But it was a markup that I was concerned about with it. If we're in line with with the other towns right. to be fair to sure. some degree, and with our even our own town paper, okay. Yeah, it's a significant amount. Yeah. I mean, I went to Long Meadow the other day and paid you know on average a hundred dollars a markout. Right. You know, over the course of the sure. year, we do a lot. Right. Well, maybe, like I said, even for next year, like I said, well, moving forward, too, if you guys want to remove some of the content of this package, if it's too much information, please let me know. You know, I try to give you some kind of um, scale to go by from surrounding communities and what yeah. other communities are doing. If it's too much, you know what I mean? Um, but like you said, I'll do my investigation on the markouts, um, and we can always visit that um, for next year. Yeah, and get some more related information, or if you guys want to see more information, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to uh, to get that for you. Okay. Um, so moving right along, uh, we're on page 19 uh, for stormwater services. This whole page is new. We talked about it at our last meeting. Um, any questions, concerns on that? No. No. 
Okay, um, no changes on uh, page 20. Um, this is where our markouts are and our trench permits and all that stuff is. You can see on here, even Tom, that our trench uh, trench permits $50. I don't know what Ron Meadow may be charging 100%. No, it's $50 for okay. on top of the 75 Okay, for the markout. Okay. All right, so there's no changes on that. Page 20, we're on now page 21. That's uh, our life cycle maintenance fee. No changes on that. On uh, page 22 is our transfer station rules and reg regulations. Um, nothing has changed on that for this year. Um, and then our transfer station electronics uh, disposal charges for um, FY21. There's been no changes on that either. Um, last but not least, or second to last but not least, this is just on page 24, it's just our operational expenses expenses for FY19. I wish I could give you FY20, but unfortunately we're a little bit behind because uh, we haven't completed this um, this year's expenditures yet. Um, and then last but not least, page 25 is just our operational expenses for the transfer station. So those are going up, right? What? Way up. What? Transfer. Transfer. Station. The budget has yeah. gone up, but the charges for that um, um, charges on our disposal um, items has not gone up. We went up last year, I think, five bucks on everything. The uh, need to get in front of that. the cane metal is that is that um, a charge or is that a income yeah. revenue? Yeah. revenue? Okay. Yep. Well, we're making that much off of. But but the thing of it is that's that's tonnage. Oh, that's tonnage. Okay. Tonnage. All right, all right. What does that equate to? I I'll have to get to that. All right, I'm sure, I'm I don't have to that see how much we're making do on that, scrap yeah. going down. Oh, I know it's going down, but I'm not sure it's offsetting the cost. Of yeah, it, it, it does thing. fluctuate, and I'm not sure. Do you, uh, do you know you see those bills? It does, it is down, no. but, but it does offset that. Yeah. Right. But all these. Does the revenue from the transfer state goes on the general fund, doesn't right. it? It goes on exactly. the general fund. Right. It right, no, I know it doesn't, but I'm just yeah. curious. If it's just one argument for an enterprise fund for down the road. Oh, I agree. And I was I actually, agree. yeah, and I was um, running some brief numbers. The stickers alone aren't going to pay to offset this right. at all. We need to we need to get purchase some equipment. I yeah. think we need to do this sometime in the future, but we need to get some equipment like a screener and things like that yeah. in place before we do this because a screener itself, a good screener is what three, three, four hundred thousand. Yeah, if we want to make our own material. Get a small read. Oh, for a little one. Yeah, right. Get a read screener. So we need to look at that. Um, but I will, I'm gonna run some numbers and okay. just to to give them to you guys so you know what actually um, we're bringing in for revenue and and see where we're at yeah. um, and how we can make this uh, a revenue stream if possible. Yeah, what do we got to do to the fees to make it make sense? Right, right? but, but also you got to remember right? this too, it's one of those bonuses being a town resident so hard to dispose of, of things oh, yeah. these days with dumps and everything else closing for $50. It, it's a good thing for to have yeah. um, for town residents dispose of, of things on, on a yearly basis. But. So the town's going to have to decide whether to keep picking up trash or, or have the individual residents pay a private company or, or, or have it brought to a transfer station mm -hmm. to be disposed of, right. you know, depending on how where costs are going. Yep. But the, that's up to the town council right. at this point is yep. to start looking at those options. Because right. many towns, maybe not around here, but many towns have a, a central central point where the residents bring the track. Yeah, I think Camden does that, don't they? You guys know if uh, Wilbur Camden, they, Wilbraham, they have to actually bring their trash somewhere. Yeah. But anyways, so I'll get some of that information together in the next couple of months as far as uh, trying to uh, make that a, uh, um, a rep, uh, enterprise fund and see where we need to be or where we got to make up the money from to do that. So that's that's what I have for you guys um, for for proposed rates and fees. Um, God, if you guys want to make a motion, discuss uh, even further. Uh, I'll, I'll make the motion to to, uh, to accept uh, Bruce's recommendation of the ten cents and ten and twenty percent. Right? Ten cents for water, twenty cents for sewer, and then the rest of the rates and fees as proposed in the uh, 
the package. Okay. Right. Right. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. All right. If you guys could just sign two, please. Scheduling the next meeting. I'll be in touch. All right, so we'll okay. schedule it through email and I'm yep. sure you'll post it out, right? Yep, okay. absolutely. Uh, make a motion to join, to join the meeting. <laughs> Second. All, right. 55. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Awesome. Meeting adjourned at uh, 455. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it.